So what can you say about this? Well, it's a normal political deed um, that we witness in any political season, any state of the federation. What is intriguing here is INEC position. INEC is the one creating confusion. Remember in the Supreme Court judgment, the governorship decision uh, delivered by Justice, Honorable Justice Emmanuel Akin, he berated Court of Appeal, the lower court, in the position they took in Plateau State. And uh, that even uh, should have encouraged all those that were unlawfully sacked by the tribunal and the big court to go back to the court for a review of those judgments right. and claim back their, uh, their seats. And that is where I neck would have said, because they say, in the eyes of the law, there is no political party, no PDP in the state. But Supreme Court gave judgment in favor of the PDP governor in the state, which eye of the law. And the INEC appeared to be blind towards it and deaf towards it. And not declaring that uh, this is a rerun. The party that they, if the party did not participate, they participated. The only thing is that the tribunal did a judgment that a uh, Supreme Court had framed against and drawing the attention that it is a, it, it has been a precedent that this internal matters of a political party that no person should interfere. What is Anek? Anek is trying to create confusion and not pair that ought to be neutral. It's now staring the, uh, 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 the honest uh, uh, nest. So, I don't know what Anek is trying to achieve. I don't know what APC is trying to achieve. I think at the end of the day, and I want to say, Supreme Court trying to ensure that there is peace in this country. Look at the political, brief political crisis in Kano and Plateau that could have set this nation on fire. Trying to abridge their own interests, their right to contest the rerun election can also inflame emotions. Like the IPAC chairman rightly stated. Yes. Now, now the question here is this. It, it's, it, there are two cases. Both of them went to the tribunal and the appeal court. Both, both occasions, the ruling was against the PDP. Yeah. The governor went a step further to the Supreme Court where the ruling was given in his favor, which is what the PDP, um, the other, um, what's the word now, the other um, contestants in the PDP yeah. for the various positions are trying to latch onto. But the INEC says, well, the ruling that we last received on this matter of um, reps, you know, that they're having for the by-election, the last judgment that we received on this matter says that the party does not exist because of the internal squabbles they had. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we cannot admit you as contestants in the by-elections. That's the INEX stand. Is it not the fault of the contestants having not gone a step further to the Supreme Court? Because it's a PDP-governed state. And we know clearly that there are members of the House of Assembly who fell victim to the tribunal ruling. And after the Supreme Court gave the ruling which um, affirmed the governor, they tried to return to the State House of Assembly, but they were barred from returning to the, to the State House of Assembly, saying that they were not members based on the tribunal and appeal court ruling. So do we, can, we, can we really blame the INEC? Or is it not the PDP and its candidates who have not done due diligence yeah, like it, the governor did? Yeah, you see, what happened is that uh, the only matter that gets to the Supreme Court is presidential governorship. Other issue, legislative matters, House of Assembly, National Assembly, and Court. But 
in the wisdom of Supreme Court, <coughs> even if the matter or the people were not before them, looked at what happened. Was that what happened? Contrary to the certain cases of the Supreme Court in that line, made mention of it. And what actually we are not a we should not be a lawless society. It's a society that should actually follow the rule of law. It is quite expected from the SAC legislators, both at national level, to latch on that Supreme Court judgment pronouncement and go back for review. Now, that gives them now that kind of leeway to, to push their matter to the Supreme Court. Which they have not done. No, maybe we don't know whether they are lawyers are in court. Yes. Yeah, that's what that's is not the why the INEC Rex says get a stay of injunction. No, but then uh, 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 you see that that will push uh, the elections you know, for you know, Supreme Court is also a policy making court. court. Of course. And uh, it's in the public domain mm -hmm. what Supreme Court in that judgment ruled, yeah. And that should also inform INEC that Supreme Court somehow has invalidated whatever they did at the lower tribunal. And the, for peace to reign, what INEC would have done, INEC should not choose a comfortable or a, a position that will favor the party that is controlling them. INEC should look at the bigger picture and play the role of a, a neutral and unbiased umpire and allow all the parties to go into the election. Then, if they go into the election, ANEC also has no power to disqualify any person. It doesn't have the power. So, if they go into the election, it goes on either APC or any other party to approve the court that they are not meant to be in the ballot. ANEC is not in a position to do that, to determine that. 